Hey, what's up? In this video, we'll making we'll be making this dynamic navigation menu that you see in most of e-commerce websites. So, uh, so this uh, HTML and CSS uh, I've taken from this code pen. So, uh, the credit for this HTML and CSS goes to this guy, Michael Mariasi. And uh, what I will do is I will make that static um, uh, HTML CSS into dynamic inside uh, Laravel. So let's get it started. Uh, I, I will I will go through what I did to make this. Uh, so we have this admin area where we can add uh, these categories like so for example I have the root level main level categories like electronics, women and men and inside uh, that I have uh, these. So it is not quite good looking for backend but yeah, it is okay for now. Okay, so if someone wants to add uh, item to women like uh, lipstick, uh, it got added under woman. You can see this is two and sub uh, sub category. And if you go to front end and refresh, uh, you should see lipstick inside woman. And I've already added some of those so electronics laptops men so it is infinite you can go any level deep so this is the back end part which will will be adding for categories and this is the front end part so let's get started by first making the uh, table structure so the table i used is categories and inside here i have just simple table like uh, id and name of category and I've added one more field uh, called parent ID, which uh, will be, let me show you database structure. Okay, so this is the categories table. Here we have uh, several categories. So uh, with uh, the categories with parent ID zero are root level, and uh, this is uh, this is the subcategory of this. So it will have the parent ID one, which will decide whose parent, uh, which child is this and we'll use that to fetch all of the data okay so this way we'll create a table so after you migrate this let's go to uh, categories controller so by the way this is the uh, part of uh, this is uh, the code I've, I've been using is from e-commerce website you can download it from uh, web uh, webdomatics git of uh, so there you'll find a repository called ecom so I'm using uh, that so the code so the code for uh, this is the categories controller is controlling that and inside there index view so first we are facing all categories from our table then uh, we are grouping it by parent ID so if you die and dump uh, at this point you should see the table structure so what kind of uh, data structure we are getting let me dump it down here okay so we have uh, the collection of arrays and yeah it is grouping it by uh, the parent ID. item with id 0 are uh, the root level comment uh, sorry root level uh, categories so these three are root level so uh, men uh, this is woman and this is electronics I guess and uh, we are getting the collection of each kind of data so yeah with 81 there are no extra so there are only one uh, with one child of this men so we can see it here similarly so basically we are uh, grouping it by parent ID so after that uh, I'm just yeah, you can do that but yeah, it is uh, quite optional so what I did here is just assigning all the I uh, all the categories with the ID 0 to root uh, root variable so this is just like assigning the name to it and then I remove that 0 1 so if you if you dump at this point and let's see so let's keep it and I'll open it in new tab okay so only difference between these two is 
I, I assign this zero as a name called root everything else is same so just naming it root so that it will be slightly easier for us to access this data all right so after that uh, so this is the backend part so after uh, assigning uh, it name we are passing it to category index view with uh, this data so uh, after that category we are passing it to category index let's see what is inside category index okay so here uh, we have uh, the category lists so I've included this parcel and uh, I'm including the collection of category as a name collection so I'm uh, passing the root level uh, root level data to this parcel so if you go inside this parcel this is basically just uh, an ordered list of list items so I'm looping through these collections which I've just passed from here and this is form to create uh, this is a form to create uh, these list item and if you see inside this form uh, you can see that uh, I've included the hidden field of parent ID which will determine who's uh, who is the parent of the item and here we have a uh, field for name and the simple form so I'm using Laravel collective package so that's why uh, I have this kind of form okay so uh, this is the form we can extract it into separate parcel as well okay so that is the form and uh, here so here is our main part to understand so uh, uh, we are passing the uh, data categories to this and uh, we are passing the collection root level uh, data to this parser so uh, inside here we are looping through each categories uh, and then uh, we are again calling uh, the same category list uh, this parcel we are calling the same uh, this parcel from inside this parcel so it will help us to recursively uh, generate the infinite loop of comment so if there are any child comment so this is just checking if there are any child comment like so uh, our categories variable is this and what we are uh, trying to access is uh, any child comment with ID this So if uh, categories uh, has comments with this ID, sorry, uh, subcategories with this ID, we'll again call this particular this parcel and generate the same thing. So as you can see, we are passing that and we are passing uh, the same categories ID this data. So this data will be this one, and we are we'll loop through each and inside here uh, if there is anything like with id 13 we'll pass we'll call that again and it will go through this loop this data and it will loop through it and continuously display so it might be slightly difficult to understand at this point uh, while i'm talking so uh, if you go and try this out you'll understand uh, what it will do so basically we are uh, recursively calling this particular parcel and generating all the list of subcategories so that is uh, basically it so if you see here it will generate yeah so it will basically generate all of these backend part so uh, the uh, if you are uh, focusing mainly on front-end part you, you you can just insert data directly into database if you want to create a subcategory of uh, laptop you can create new and then assign the particular parent ID okay so uh, that is the uh, back-end part so let's go to front-end part uh, let's go to front-end so let's close everything down 
okay so front end uh, home page is loading this uh, index view front end controller index so if you go to front end controller and this is uh, loading the index view so this is loading uh, that particular index view Uh, you can ignore this sort for now uh, what uh, we are trying to uh, mainly pa uh, pass is this category so so to our front uh, view we are passing this category uh, and we are doing same thing uh, just facing all group by parent id yeah exact same code uh, in real life you want to reuse this code by putting it into uh, like uh, boot class of some service provider like app service provider uh, i'll cover that in later video so for now just we are passing this uh, this data to this front home view or you can share this data in our uh, in your uh, app service provider you can search for how to share data in app service provider if you need that okay so uh, basically we are passing the categories to front home let's uh, go inside front home okay so this is basically uh, basically the HTML document and I've included the CSS here uh, also you can find the CSS link in description or you can uh, you can just use uh, this CSS so I'm using uh, CSS from this code pen so we are including CSS and then here also we are doing same thing so in this case it will be slightly different than uh, backend in order uh, in terms of displaying our uh, data in backend we are not displaying like this so first we'll need a root comment to show like in uh, horizontal line like this and then uh, we are displaying child in as a sub comment so let's see so this will be the uh, this will display the root level comment site and we are looping through root level categories and then we are displaying uh, each category yeah that is it and uh, this uh, this is responsible for, uh, responsible for displaying the subcategories inside particular categories so uh, we are doing the uh, same as uh, in our backend so if there is any subcategories like we are checking for uh, this categories and category id and then we will load the nav items uh, parcel so we are passing the item so item will be that uh, data inside this so if you go inside uh, nav items uh, we are looping through each item and we are displaying item name and same thing uh, we are recursively calling the same nav item uh, parcel to display any other sub item if it has any sub items okay so basically that is uh, how we display the uh, dynamic nav bar